While developing an Android application in the Kotlin programming language, we may want to access the user's gallery and get information. In such cases, we have to get permission from the user. In this video we will make a simple application that includes permissions to access the user's gallery. The video consists of two parts. In the first part, we will transfer the project from GitHub to our computer. Later, we will examine in detail how the project codes work. Thus, in the first part, we will learn how the application codes work. In the second part, we will redo the application with you from the beginning. After watching the first part of the video and learning how the codes work, I suggest you do the whole project together again in the second part. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. In the first part of the video, we will transfer the computer project from GitHub. We can use the version control feature in Android Studio for the transfer process. Copy the address from the GitHub project. I will share the GitHub project address with you in the video descriptions. Paste the copied address into the version control object. Press the clone button to start the transfer process. You can select the this window option when the transfer process starts. The transfer process will be completed shortly. The transfer process has been completed. Let's start to review the project codes. Select the trust project option to run the project transferred from GitHub to the computer. To get permission from the user, we must add the external storage code block to the manifest file in the project. We activate the permission process using this code block. In the coding part of the project, we must reach the objects used in the design. To access the objects, we must set the extension settings in the Gradle file. Using this code block, we can access the objects in the design in the coding section. Let's start with the coding part. A variable was created containing the address of the photo on the phone. The object is synchronized with null because no photo has been selected yet. We will create a bitmap using the image decoder to display the selected photo in the Android app. We will transfer the photo from the gallery to the Android application using bitmap. I will explain all these processes in detail shortly. An onclick function name has been determined to start the gallery permission processes when the photo object used in the application is pressed. A function has been created using the function name onclick. If the user has not yet received permission, the request code is set to 1 to get permission. If the user's permission is completed, the request code is set to 2. If the user's permission is not obtained, the request code is set to 1. In this case, we must act according to the action to be taken. Request code 1, that is, if the user has not yet received permission and the user gives permission to access the gallery, the intent process is started to go directly to the user's gallery. Also, the request code is set to 2. Redirected directly to gallery when user granted access to gallery. Request code has been automatically changed to 2. At this stage, the user will select a photo from the gallery. If the selected photo is not null, it is synchronized with the picked photo variable using the data object. Different operations are performed compared to Android version 28 and before. Since we do not know which version the designed application is, we have to do the coding process according to both situations. If the version of the phone using the application is greater than 28, we need to create a resource variable. After synchronizing the source variable with the decode bitmap function, we can update the photo object in the application by using it in the set image bitmap function. If the version of the phone using the application is less than 28, we can update the photo object in the application directly by using the bitmap variable in the set image bitmap function without using the decode bitmap function. At this stage, the user is requested to access the gallery. Access to own gallery after user grants access. 
Then the photo that the user selected was replaced with the photo object in the design. Let's take a look at the design part of the project. In the design part of the project, there is a text and a photographic object. Created the function name onClick to assign a task when clicking the photo object. We created a task function in the coding part of the project with the name of this function. The ID was used in the encoding part when updating the photo object. Run the project. Click on the photo object. Grant access to the gallery. Choose a photo. The selected photo and the photo object in the design are synchronized. In the second part of the video, we will do this application again with you from the beginning.
If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.